gone through the, the drug scene, experimenting with drugs and everything, and uh, unfortunately you tend to get stuck in a rut with that, but the seeking was there through the drugs. I started to get involved with Hatha Yoga, macrobiotics, all experimenting with many different things. Um, I'd say sort of during a period of 10 years, it gradually got to the point where I read in a book the words about self-realization, becoming one with the whole and things like that. Um, and the word self-realization, I thought, well, that's what I want. But I thought, well, I'm never going to get it. But something happened. I suddenly knew that there was God. And I, I think the only thing it must have been that Shumashi's attention was on the area where I was living because um, about two weeks later Shumashi went there <coughs> to the, um, the grammar school, the girls grammar school and that's, that's where I went but um, something happened I just knew there was God because before I just wasn't sure and all that and um, <coughs> the desire was there but I thought well I'll never get it and then in the local paper there was this photograph of Shumashi self-realization towards you know seekers of truth I thought, wow that's that's what i want you know um i was quite messed up with all these things that i'd done and it came to the big night of where the program was it was a thursday night um 26th of july 1979 and um i was into all this health foods and everything so much so that it, it just got more and more extreme where I used to have sacks of music <laughs> and uh, I just thought I just have a few nuts <laughs> from the music so I had a few of these nuts and then I thought I'll just have a few more and the next thing I was just ramming I think the negativity knew it was going to go and I was just ramming all this dry <laughs> muesli just loads of it and I was I, I was found myself rammed in this sack and I suddenly thought what am I doing you know it, it's out of control you know? and uh, I realized it was time to go and, and I literally I had to just walk down the hill you know talk about you know seek and you shall find so I just had to walk down the hill to where this school was where Shimashi was and as I was walking down the hill it was all expanding <laughs> my, my stomach and everything and um, I think there was about 60 people there. Um, I just felt intense heat and masses of sweat and thought, what's all this about a cool breeze, you know? And, uh, uh, and then lots and lots of pain. And um, Shimashi got up and she used to work on everybody. You know, she'd go right into the audience and talk, communicate. But she, she passed me. I went on to the next person. I thought, well, you know, didn't think too much of it, but I was really in a lot of pain. And um, th then I think now if everybody had gone, I was the only person left. And I had a group of side yogis working on me and I was sitting there and this pain in my back was just getting so bad. And suddenly I was whacked right where the pain was. And then I, I knew that the person could feel it. It was like my first taste of, collective consciousness you know I thought they know that it's there and then it moved to another spot and then they whacked that and that really impressed me you know and um, I was suddenly aware that everybody had gone except for me you know and uh, they said come back it was Tony Paniotu's place Shumashi was going there and I was going no 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 and then in the end they took they talked me into going and it was just a small terraced house and loads and loads of people and someone was rubbing Shamashi's feet and I thought well, what's all this about and immediately Shamashi she got them to stop you know and uh, and some somebody at Shamashi's feet got up and moved away and they was going to me and I was going, and I was going. but in the end I went over and then Shamashi was as big as a mountain that's how I remember her in the, in the beginning you know and she was just massive and um, said, hello, how are you? And I said, very well, thanks. I'm all right, you know. And, uh, 
And every, every, everything and anything I said, people didn't really have a lot of discrimination there. They laughed at every single thing I said. And um, my mum had gone crazy at that time and my, my dad was going crazy because she was going crazy. And it was like the whole thing had turned round. The, the son was sort of sorting the parents out sort of thing. And uh, I knew that everyone said, you know, I just recognise her instantly. But here I didn't have a clue what was going on but here uh, you know the heart mm. just knew she was and I knew that she was the one I could tell anything to and um, and I said I've got this terrible pain in my back and she got me to turn around and she was putting her hand all over my back and then someone came in with a huge plate of meat and chips and everything and I was horrified I thought oh my god she eats meat and <laughs> chips you know <laughs> chips you know this <laughs> Because uh, I've gone through all this macrobiotic stuff, you know. And um, she said, I've got to stop now. And I was really upset that she was, you know, I felt like a child wrenched away from his mother, you know. And um, that was my first meeting, you know. That was, you know, sort of condensed version, really. You wow. know. Uh, <laughs> but I remember how big, huge, you know, she was like, a, she just looked like a mountain to me at the time, you know. 